This morning, we continue our commemoration of Black History Month with a stark reminder of Miami and South Florida's Jim Crow past. Back in the late 30s, the Liberty City Square projects were built. Yeah, there were concrete walls, apparently, that separated blacks from whites. As CBS4's Hank Tester reports, many of those walls have actually never gone away. It's painted an ugly yellow. The wall stretches along Northwest 12th Avenue and 63rd Street to Northwest 64th Street. Ugly in more ways than one. The wall's a direct link to Miami's Jim Crow past. I can't look at this without hurting. I know what it is. I know why it was built. I know what it meant. 1930s, Jim Crow segregation. Blacks, the help, the workers whose labors built this city, concentrated in, crammed into colored town, what we now call Overtown. So white folks were concerned about black people coming out of those slums in Overtown, bringing disease into their homes as house cleaners amazing. The solution, a federal and local cooperative effort to build what we now call Liberty Square, move blacks to the north. Dr. Marvin Dunn, retired FIU professor, noted author of major works on the history of the black experience in Florida says, Liberty Square would have never been built unless a deal was struck between the feds and the city of Miami. A classic case, Dunn says, of institutional racism. The federal government that built the Liberty Square housing project and the city of Miami agreed to put in this wall, this barrier, uh, to, divide, to divide the black community and the white community. The wall was four feet tall, but it was to be backed up by a row of Australian pine trees, gumbo limbo trees, so that the white folks on this side wouldn't even have to see the black people over here. In Miami, not alone. There was this wall in South Miami, a similar wall in Miami's Coconut Grove. Pompano Beach had a wall, still there. An architect on the Liberty City Project explained in an article, the wall will prevent communications between the white and colored section. In those days, plenty of whites lived in the area. Look hard at the illustration. You can see the wall and note the black folks gathered around the cart. If you were a black person, you could not go on the other side of this wall without risking being arrested. Should the wall be removed now that the Liberty City Project's being dismantled? They should never touch this wall. They should not tear the, this is a moment, this is a, this is a sad reminder to black people and to whites as to what we lived through in those days. It's a vestige of Miami's Jim Crow past, still here and should never be torn down, according to Dr. Marvin Dunn. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News.